Hey, cutie. Shut up, hippie. Hey, man. We're here about Walter. Does he happen to live here by chance? Here we are. Nice cup of tea. One for you. Oh, Rocky. Rocky, yes. And one for you. Clay, thank you. Um, we can't hang. We're just here... Would you like some biscuits? I've just taken some Anzacs out of the oven. No, uh, thank you. L listen, Mrs... Gert. Just call me Gert. Everyone does. Cool. Listen, Gert, um, we've got something to... Rocky. That's an interesting name for a girl. What's it short for? Oh, uh, my mother didn't like long names. Um, Gert, uh, we would Maybe just... some Hungarian goulash. I've got some left in the fridge. No, thank you. We really can't stay. Yes, that's right. Um, you see, we were just driving through town and... It's about Walter. Walter? What's he been up to? Where is he? Walter! No, please, Mrs... Gert. Gert, right. Maybe I should... Yeah, maybe. Gert, we were driving through town on the way to the city and... Killed a redat. What do you think? Jumped down. Oh, sorry, Mum. Didn't know you had visitors. That's OK, boys. This is Rocky and Mud. Oh, Clay. Clay, yes, sorry, dear. These two handsome young men are my boys, Dean and Doug. Groovy. Couple of hippies, eh? Don't you, like, give away that free sex stuff? Dean? <laughs> Is Walter with you? I wouldn't know, Mum. He's not inside? No, he's not. Walter? Please, Mrs... Gert. Gert, boys, yes. That's... That's why we're here. Um, I've been wanting to tell you. Shh. He's asleep. He's been working very hard. Been protesting, eh? You must hate us. No. We just hate war. You think we don't? We fight for peace. So do we. You shoot to kill. I shoot to live. Why fight fire with fire when you can put it out with water? Why don't you put me out? Go on. Take your water and pour it all over me. I dare you. Oh, sorry. We must have fallen asleep. I wasn't asleep. Anyway, now, where were we? Sorry, you were about to say something? Yeah. OK, so... This isn't going to be easy. Uh, 
It's about Walter. <laughs> Walter? What's he been up to? Well, we were just driving through town, you see, and he just came running out in front of us. We just didn't have time to stop. We tried. I'm sorry? It was an accident, Gert. We hit Walter. He's dead. Walter's dead? Oh, dear. You killed Walter? We are so sorry. It, it, it all just happened so quick. <laughs> you bloody hippies! Smoking your weeds and singing your protest songs. Why can't you just watch what you're doing? Dane, leave us. No, but did you, they walk in here like it's some kind of tomorrow and they tell us they killed Walter. Dean, leave it. I'm sure it was an accident. Good, it was. We we really are very sorry. Well, you're sorry? Well, that's all right then. Thanks for telling us. You can go now. Just scrape what's left of him off your wheels and enjoy the rest of your day. He just came running straight out in front of us. Oh, so it's his fault now. Well, why don't you grab those stray pieces of him, bring him back here, and we'll give him a bloody good thrashing! How old was he? He was 11. <laughs> oh, cool. So he lived a pretty good life then. <gasps> what? Well, 11 years is a decent lifespan. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Where is he now? Well, we, we put him in the boot of the van. You put him in the boot? Well, the baby seat's going in the back and we didn't want to get our seats all bloody. I couldn't believe what I'm hearing. Doug, go get him. Leave your blade. I can tell he, he came from a nice family. You, you must have loved him very much. You think? He was obviously very important to you all. Well, you could say that. We'll do whatever we can to make it a little easier for you. Clay could dig a hole in your backyard so you can... Bury him? In the backyard? Well, yeah. Why don't we chuck him on the barbie and, and, and cremate him slowly? Take it easy, brother. We would be happy to pay for a new one if you brother. like. Brother! Did you call me brother? I'm not your brother. My oh. brothers wore badges of... Honour, not your badges of folly! You, you people throw your rotten eggs at us and tell us not to be violent. You tell us not to alienate the minorities while forcing us to be one. You fight for peace, the ultimate contradiction! Please, put the gun down. A lot of good men died so that you could hate them. Well, I got news for you. There's a war happening in Vietnam, but there's a bigger war happening here. And the atrocities are going to be far more brutal. <laughs>